and it is the second great insight that Buddha gave us in his very concise <laughs> Four Noble Truths. And that is, happiness is your natural state. When you remove whatever makes you unhappy, you are getting back to your natural state of being, not filtered through your mind, who will make it real, whatever circumstances are going on will make them real. So once you remove suffering, you are rising your vibration. You don't need to add anything to you. You just need to remove what you are not. Or in Buddha's own words, it is in the nature of things that joy arises in a person free from remorse. All you need to do is remove what you do not prefer. What you are not. What does not resonate with you. You just need to find out about your attachments and about your resistances and let them go. And once you let them go, once you let weights that are holding you down, you will naturally lift your vibration. That is kind of surprising, but it is in the nature of things. It's just the way it is. You know? It's just like Michelangelo, you know, the great sculptor Michelangelo. He created some real gorgeous sculptures, masterpieces like Pietà or David. And uh, someone asked him once, oh my God, Michelangelo, I mean, this, this is gorgeous. How could you create this beautiful sculpture from, you know, a piece of uh, stone? And he said, you know what? David was already in the stone. I just removed the extraneous stone. I just removed what David was not. Okay. And by removing what David was not, there it is, David as we know him today. Okay. So you don't need to add anything to you. You are already perfect, <laughs> as in Eastern traditions they would say. You're already perfect. What you need is to remove from yourself what you are not. It's kind of like, you know, balloon, you know, those balloon, hot air balloons. So there is a balloon and then here you are inside. And these balloons often have some weights that's called ballast. And the only function of these weights is to keep you at a certain attitude. If you want to go higher, what you need to do is cut one of those ballasts Okay, then you will make yourself lighter and the balloon will go higher naturally. You don't need anything to add to that balloon, only remove ballast, weight that you don't need if you want to go higher. And that is why I am strongly opposed personally to calling this, uh, what we are talking about, you know, self-help or self-improvement. Because self-improvement means that there is a better version of yourself somewhere in the future. Okay. And if there is a better version of me in the future, that means that this version now is not good enough. And that immediately puts you in a guilt and shame because you are not good enough or you are afraid or you worry about what people will think of you because you should be better. Please don't do that. Please don't do self-help and please don't uh, do self-improvement. What you should do is self-exploration, self-discovery. Find out what you already are. And when you find out what you already are, the path to finding what you already are is by removing from yourself what you are not. 
as great poet Rumi said, your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it.